Hi, this is Sue Chan from Farms at Work, and we're at the farm of Jeff's Foot. It's called Lunar Rhythm Gardens, and it's in near Janetville. And uh, I'm about to enjoy one of her fall um, raspberries. Oh, it's delicious. And those raspberries are the result of pollination. When I was here on the farm earlier in the spring and um, saw all the, the uh, bumblebees that are on Jess's raspberry plants um, pollinating, and today as I was walking, there's still lots of bumblebees in this uh, area. Um, Jess grows all kinds of vegetables, as you can see, and she runs a CSA. Um, I think she has about 100, fam 100 families in her CSA. And we're working here today t uh, under the, um, with the help of Jess and with the help of the um, MNR to produce, to create more pollinator habitat on this farm. So what I'm going to do today is actually put in a bumblebee nest, a ground nesting bumblebee nest. Uh, Jess Foot is in the area that, in which rusty patch bumblebees used to live. And um, so we're going to try and create nesting habitat for those bees today. And we're going to be doing a pollinator planting on this farm. Now Jess Foot's farm doesn't use any insecticide, so we can do our pollinator planting right in the vicinity of the garden. Now you'll see that there already is a lot of goldenrod. Goldenrod is an important nectar source for native bees and honeybees at the end of the season. Okay, so earlier today um, we built a bumblebee nest and a bumblebee nest is really a simple thing. It's trying to imitate a rodent's nest because bumblebees often will nest in empty rodent's nests. So what we've done is taken a flower pot um, that has a hole in the middle and we've put some grass in in just the same way that a, a rodent would, would line their nest with grass. And then we've put in some chicken wire, scrunched up chicken wire, we put it in, and what that does is it holds the grass in place, um, and it also allows for drainage if water gets in. So we're, this is going to be an underground bumblebee nest, um, because the rusty patch bumblebee nests underground, and so we're going to try and provide nesting sites for that type of a bee. So I've already started to dig the hole. I'm okay, so I'm, this is the, the top, so I'm putting it in. Well, I think I still have to go a bit deeper. Okay. So I'm popping that in. It's right at the edge of the soil. And then I'm going to backfill. So as you can see, it's a real tough thing to do. Now the reason I'm putting it here and not in amongst the crops is that bumblebees are quite defensive of their nests. So we want to put them places where they will not be uh, interacting with human beings. So I've got it off in the corner of the field and so that when people are picking raspberries or picking asparagus, they won't be um, attacked by the bumblebees who are uh, defending their nest. If queen uh, bumblebees that have emerged from the ground next year are looking for nests, they may occupy these nests in the spring. That's why we have to put them in in the fall.